This is Matrix Lord 212 and welcome to the Amazing Spider Cast Extra Episode 1. All right, so basically this is spoilers. So if you didn't read the Clone Conspiracy issue 5 connected to Amazing Spider-Man this month, don't watch this video, okay? Um now I got to say I read it and I'm you know, it, it up, it's up and down with me. I mean, some issues are great. Some issues are not great. Some issues are okay. Um, way back on the Everything Show, I talked about the possibility of what if Dr. Octopus cloned um, another body of Peter Parker and remained superior Spider-Man. Or um, even I even said something towards the effect of merging with Ben Riley, which was just a thing thrown out there. Now, I don't know if that's actually what's happening, but Dr. Octopus and Ben Riley melted together into goo, and Dr. Octopus created a proto-clone, which is a clone that will not degrade, okay? Um, which I thought that that was what Ben Riley originally was, as well as Kane. They couldn't degrade. Um, but anyway... Uh, there's a possibility that Doc Ock merged with Ben Riley, and they're both inside the proto-clone, and Dr. Octopus is going to be Superior Scarlet Spider or something like that. Now, first of all, I can't see Ben Riley, the one that's in Clone Conspiracy, I can't see that that is Ben Riley because Ben Riley in that storyline doesn't care if people die and killing people, and that is not what Ben Riley is as a Scarlet Spider, and I would think that's Miles Warren or something. So, for, to put him in the book and be a superhero after he didn't care about killing everybody, and for some reason Peter Parker's spider sense didn't work on him, that's weird. Um, I wouldn't like that. Now, if you're going to put Doc Ock in the role as Scarlet Spider, I wouldn't like that either because that's not Scarlet Spider. Um, you would have to have a superior Spider-Man book. But of course, they have Miles um, Morales as Spider-Man without changing the name. And they have Peter Parker without changing the name. So having a third Spider-Man, but just calling him superior Spider-Man, would confuse the crap out of people. So I'm hoping that the Scarlet Spider book that comes out in April is the real, as far as I'm concerned, real Ben Riley, Because I don't think that this is the Ben Riley we know. And again, if you keep cloning and cloning and cloning a clone, then it's not really the original clone, is it? So, and as far as Doc Ock goes, I would like to think that he could stick around and this whole nonsense about being in clone bodies and stuff like that, that stuff's over with. I, I hope that everybody that was a clone in Clone Conspiracy is dead. Because I really don't like the thought of having his villains be clones. And just flat out just have his villains. Okay. Um, if we're going to have a storyline again with the Jackal. I just wish it's different and not a scale like this. Now um, originally I thought why the hell are they creating their own book just for this? Why couldn't this just be an amazing Spider-Man? Why does it have to be like a Secret Wars separate book or something? Then I realized, well, Marvel probably wants to make a lot of money by making an extra book out there that's three, four dollars, whatever. Um, at the end of the day, we're hearing this storyline about Marvel Generations where the heroes are going to be restored. And then we're seeing that there's a book coming out called Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, where he is restored somehow, whatever that means, that he's going to be in New York City, and he's going to be Spider-Man. Now, does he lose his fortune? Um, is he working for the Daily Bugle again? What the hell is going on? So, um, that's something I hope... I kind of hope that he's not a billionaire anymore because that was Doc Ock's company. So, I hope that somehow Doc Ock could have his company back without it being called Parker Industries. And just be a rich supervillain. Billionaire, somehow. And Peter Parker goes back to what he used to be. And again, at the end of the day, you got to think of it this way. He didn't use his intelligence and his brains to become a billionaire. He stole the company from Doc Ock. So, um, I don't want to see Peter Park on the cowboy as Reed Richards. All right. So that's it. Take care. Bye for now.